Here's what your partner said. These are the people that you went into business with who settled. Mr. Rathers, Mr. Ratner's actions were inappropriate, wrong, and unethical. These are your partners. It, that was one of the most hurtful things that's ever happened to me. I've worked with these people for most of my career, in one case 20 years, in one case 15 years, in another case 10 years, and I could not believe that they would throw me overboard to try to save the firm and themselves. I was really stunned by it. I was shocked beyond belief. I don't know what I could say that, uh, beyond that. Well, you can say why you think they did it. I, I mean, did they save themselves anything? Because they had to pay $12 million from the firm. And so what, I mean, did they somehow, I mean, it, this they, is the characterization some have made, maybe you, I don't remember exactly. You know, they gave my scalp in order to save themselves. Was that your characterization? I think that was uh, one of my spokesman's characterizations, okay. yeah. and I wouldn't disagree with it. It wasn't the 12 million, as uh, that was part of it, but it was also getting the firm out from under this so that the firm could go on and do other things. Uh, yeah. And I think by th they thought that by throwing me overboard, that would endear them to the investors and to other people. That judgment seems to have been proven wrong, as according to the New York Post today, the firm is going into wind-down mode. So the way it looks is they threw me overboard and in effect got nothing for it. Well, you're also, don't you have an arbitration suit against them? I do, because they have damaged my reputation substantially by comments like that, and I intend to show in the course of the arbitration that I didn't do any of those things that you just read off there. Plus, they've withheld very substantial sums of money that I'm owed, and Look, I, I hate litigation. I don't think I've ever been involved in a substantive piece of litigation before in my life, but um, I am going to see this one through. Here's what it seems to me like, you know, whatever this, wherever the attorney general is, I mean, he seems to me, based on the way he read his statement, Steve Ratner was willing to do whatever it took to get his hands on pension fund money, including paying kickbacks. I mean, that's... That's his opinion. I yeah. disagree with him. I, that's the reason he said there were these two indictments. They're not indictments, I mean, they're charges. Charges, yeah. Uh, uh, I, I understand you said that, and I've responded to the two. Ill-gotten gains, he says, going to be held accountable. Yes, but if you go read what he has said about almost every other money manager that he settled with in the course of this, he said almost the same thing about all of them, and yet he didn't demand of them anything like what he's demanding of me. So I come back to your question. Is it emotion? Is it politics? Is it, what is it? I don't and, know. And, and I come back to the question too. Tell me, tell me why you think, what it is it about the Attorney General, in your case, that is different from the other cases as you see it. I, I, don't, I don't think, there, there are different, always inevitably slightly different facts in any case. When I look at all these other cases, and I've been over them and over them and over them, I don't believe that I did anything worse than the rest of these people or, or different even particularly. I think it comes down, uh, nor do I believe I broke the law or even did anything wrong. I've explained to you about the hiring of Hank right. Morris was completely legal. Yeah. I've explained to you that I never told Good Times to make that DVD. I think this comes down, honestly, my supposition, but you should get the Attorney General on here and ask him, is that it comes down to emotion and politics. I don't know how else to account for it.